Hi, my name's April Stott, and this is my awesome niece, Lucy. And um, I wrote this book called Share Some Kindness, Bring Some Light. And Lucy and I are going to draw a hedgehog with a kindness lantern today. Okay. Yep, yep. Do you want to say hi to your class? Hi. Okay, so in the book, Share Some Kindness, Bring Some Light, Coco and Bear are friends. When they first meet, the story actually starts on the end paper, and when they first meet, uh, she's not quite sure what to think of him. She's like, uh, giant bear. And then you can go to the title page, and you can see she's not still not quite, not quite sure, but he's kind of like a big, sweet, kind, goofy bear. And then he tells her that the other animals don't like him because he's so big. And they decide the way they're going to become friends is by making presents for people. And um, the animals don't really like that idea. Um, they don't know why a stranger's giving them gifts. And they don't really trust them. But then at the end, um, Bear shows how kind he really is and that you don't need to make presents for friends. You can become friends by just being um, yourself. And um, But the lanterns ended up coming in handy still in the story. <laughs> and so uh, we're going to draw this little hedgehog right here little hedgehog who at first when he first was offered presents ran away and at the end of the present story right here he already has a lantern that's right <laughs> so we're gonna do a little kindness lantern with a hedgehog did you know that a hedgehog is my patronus we did the test that's my patronus so this picture is gonna be near and dear to my heart Okay, so um, we're going to take a piece of scratch paper and I'm going to show you guys the colors we're going to use first. Sometimes it's nice to test them out because it can be hard to um, see what the color is um, until you see it on paper. So we have just regular old black and we have a darker brown and we have a gray and then we're going to um, use this lighter kind of tannish brown color and we have a light blue. Am I going out of order and messing you up? Then we have a darker blue. It's okay if it's not exactly like this. Uh, and then I have a orangey yellow color. And then a yellowy yellow color. And a pink. And a red. This red's kind of like a pink red, but it doesn't matter. I oh, I chose the, I'm sorry, I chose this color because that's the color I'm going to use for a scarf. And you're going to do a different color for your scarf. I'm do that. And I already got this too, I think. Perfect. Awesome. And then we also have a Sharpie. Um, if you don't have a Sharpie, you can use um, a regular black Crayola marker or any black marker. Um, we just have Sharpies because we're pretty fancy. Right, Lucy? Yeah. Just kidding. Okay, so we're using cardstock to draw on, but you can use any kind of paper. Okay, my love, let me make a spot for you. And Is it this way or this way? Um, how about we do them this way? And then I, I need to make sure you stay in the frame of the camera. So let's move yours right there. Do you want to move your seat over? Okay, awesome. So the first thing we're going to do, we want to make sure our hedgehog and our lantern end up on the same spot. And um, we're going to use light whispering lines. I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So let me take this black and a light line. This is like a whispering line where it's super light. And then this is like a screaming line. We'll add a few screaming lines, but we're going to start with really light whisper lines like this. Okay. So, um, Lucy, I'm going to have you use the light blue, but I'm going to use the dark blue so they can see what I'm doing because it's hard to see sometimes. Okay, so... So get your, your lighter blue. You can test it on the scratch paper, uh, like this one or that one. Perfect. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is just um, decide where we want the bottom of our picture to be. Sometimes it's easier to take your finger and kind of... Um, map it out with your finger first. So I'm, I want my lantern to go about right here and I want my little hedgehog to go about right here. So um, I'm going to do a little light line. I'm going to do mine a little darker so they can see it. But draw a light line right here. And that's going to be your guide. Could 
job, hon. Um, so we're going to, um, let's do the lantern first since that's the biggest shape. So on the right here, I want you to make a rectangle with really sketchy lines. Don't worry about making it perfect. Just a lantern about this size. Really nice, Lucy. Cool. And then right here, we're going to do the hedgehog. And we're going to have this little arm come up. So I'm going to do a circle that's about two finger widths from the side of the lantern right here. Still in the blue. So you want him to be able to touch the lantern. Yeah, so you can scoot him over a little bit or you can just make his arm, I mean, his arm will go over. That's perfect. Okay, so, and make sure, remember to do the whisper lines. I'm doing mine darker. Okay, so um, on top of his, this circle right here, I want you to take your crayon and do another circle. See how it's just kind of on top like that? So I have a circle here and then another circle right there. And it kind of bumped out on the top. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. And then we're going to do um, his little arm. We can just do, we'll kind of show about where it's going to go like that. Remember to do light whisper lines right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good job, hon. Okay. Um, and then... Sorry, <laughs> I'm stopping to think. We're going to do, uh, let's show where his face is right now. Um, so before we draw anything, we're going to kind of plan it out with our fingers and kind of decide where we want things. Um, I want his eye to go, his, his eyes to go about right here and then his little nose right here. So now we can switch to, um, I'm going to have you do the light brown, but I'll do the dark brown. So switch. Mm -hmm. And um, right here, I, um, we're going to do an eye right here and an eye right here. So just do two dots inside the circle. Yep, that's great. And then one of these dots is gonna, um, we're gonna do one more for his nose. So you can see where this eye is right here? We're gonna do a dot like that. That's great, Lucy. Okay, and then um, this nose dot that we did, mm -hmm. we're going to do a line like that. Very cute. And then his ears are actually very small, and they're on really close to the sides of his head. So we're going to do a little ear like that. It's just like a C, and then another ear like that. Very nice. And then just to help us plan, um, whatever color you're going to make your scarf, you can pick that up. Um, we're going to do, um, right, see where the, I have this circle line right here? Mm -hmm. That's going to be like the top of the scarf. So you can take that, whatever color you're going to do your scarf in, and just make that line again in that color. Oh, you're doing blue, so that's perfect. Yes, sir. Yeah, just where you have it, just like that. Oops, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to draw your picture. All the way up to the top. Mm -hmm. And then um, his scarf is going to kind of loop around. So from this line, I'm just doing a little curvy line like that. Very nice. And then we it can't just be one line, right? We've we got to show that it's a scarf, so we're going to do another line right here. And then we're just going to leave that right there for now. Um, oh, we forgot to do his little arm. So we're going to pick up our brown again. And then, um, okay, so watch me first. This is just, um, so, so you see how his ears right here and his eyes right here? You can take your finger and draw a line straight down from there. Perfect. And then we're going to do, I just want you to do two lines. And see how they're kind of tilted like that? Yeah, tilt them in like that. Perfect. And then 
will make his little paw sticking out like that. And I just did that by doing like three little lines right there mm -hmm. at the bottom, mm -hmm. at okay. the bottom of that shape. That's perfect, Lucy. That's perfect. Do one more so then it looks like he has a little claw right in the middle. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, now we can make this claw, uh, his little paw on the other side. So we can do the same thing. I just did like three lines like that. Um, where his paw is touching the, the lantern. Yep. And then you can, just so we can kind of plan that. Okay. This is like the, the basic part of our drawing. So now we can start to kind of add on some details. So we're going to start by doing that with the Sharpie. So we're going to leave a little highlight in his eye. I'm going to do a little tiny circle first. And then inside the circle, I'm going to draw another circle. And then I'm going to fill everything else in. So then it looks like he has a little highlight in his eye. You've done that before, huh? So, so I drew a circle first. Mm -hmm. And then I drew another little circle inside of it. And color that. And then colored everything else. And then his little nose, we're actually going to make it like an oval shape like this, not a perfect circle. But we can do the same thing where we leave the little highlight on the end. Oh, that's perfect. Nice. Hmm. Well, it's okay. Just draw another circle. There, and then color all the way around it. Oh, it's really cute, Lucy. Okay, so from the bottom of his little nose, go on top of your smile line. And then on the edge of his smile right here, you can do another little circle right here. And then it looks like he's really smiling. Okay, um, so now we can start to add some of the detail. Um, we're gonna add some of his little spikes and really make him look like a hedgehog. We're gonna start with the black and um, we're gonna fill in where this um, circle is for his head and where his body is, but we're gonna we're not gonna do any black right here on his face or on his belly. So if it's helpful, you can kind of like make a line right there, so you can remember don't don't fill this part in right here. Okay, does that make sense? You don't have to though. So now I'm just gonna take this black and I'm not coloring it in. I'm just doing the spikes. And I'm filling so in around exactly here. not on top of his face because we want his face to stay um, lighter. He doesn't have the little spikies on his face. Oh, that's really cute, Lucy. And then right here on the back of him too. Oh, that's so perfect. Mm, not his belly right there. So all right here. Good question. And if you go out of the circle a little bit, that's fine because, you know, he has his little hedgehog spikes. So no big deal. Nice job. Okay, we're gonna um, take the brown now and we're gonna do the same thing, but we're not gonna fill it all the way in. We wanna leave some white in there. So we're just making spikes. We're not coloring it in. something with the black really quick so grab your black and trace outside of his little ear right there both of them, uh -huh, both of them. 
and then really lightly inside, not not dark, just really lightly shaded in with the with the black. And then um, you can we can color in his little arm right here, and I'm going to go over his claws with the black. But I'm again, I'm just shading it lightly with the crayon. I'm not I'm not do, filling it all the way in. That's perfect, Lucy. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna take our brown and we're gonna do um, a little line. Do you see how his nose is right here? We want it to look like he has a little a really um, sticking out nose. So we did that. I, I made a line that started just near his eye and curved around to his nose, just like that. Mm -hmm, exactly. Um, and make it come up like that. So then it looks like his nose is kind of sticking out. Does that make sense? So then take your tan crayon and we're going to color really, really dark up against his nose. And then we're going to go softer, softer, softer and kind of blend it out. So. So really, really dark right here, and then softer, really right next to his nose, make it really dark, and then blend it out softly. Oh, that's great. That's really nice. And then we can add a little bit of shading right here, so it looks like it's kind of going down, and then a little bit more on his belly. That's really nice, Lucy. Okay, and now we can take the pink and we can give him a cute, really, really, really light, really light, cute little pink cheek right there, just so light. And then I'm, oh, that's perfect, hon. And then I'm filling in over his ears, which really just kind of blends all the gray, um, all the black into a gray, which is great. Make sure. So I just went right here. Yep. Scribbling it all in. Oh, Lucy, that's adorable. Okay, and then I, I kind of want to give them little eyebrows. Um, it might be hard. To, sometimes it's hard to get exactly where you want with a crayon, so if you want to do this with a pencil, you can. But I'm just going to do a little eyebrow right there and right there. Nice. Do you feel like you can tell where the bottom of his body is with our shading? Like under. Like under his belly? Yeah. Yeah, okay. If you want, you can add a couple little light lines like that to kind of bring them all together. And then on the side, on the side I was missing some. Okay, so now we can fill in the scarf. Um, so I want you to start with whatever color you're going to do your scarf in with the darkest color. So my, since my, I have a red scarf, I'm going to um, do red first. And I'm just making my line dark. And then we want to kind of, you know when things are knitted, how they kind of have a little bit of texture? So I'm taking this dark red and doing some short lines like that. Are you trying to decide what color to do? Because I was trying to figure out like if I could do one of those, like where you do dark blue and it gets Oh, lighter. that'd be so, like an ombre? Yeah. That'd be really pretty. But how would I the scarf? Well, I would, you have like the basic sketch of it and then just color it in any way you want. So um, I'm going to layer my colors. So I'm going to take pink and yellow and do that on top of the scarf too. I really like layering colors. Lucy knows that. Whoops. Just turn. Oh, that's so cute, Lucy. Okay, so now we can add a little bit. Um, you can pick up your blue again. We're going to add a little shadow under him. By just coloring with the lightest blue a little shadow like this. Oh, I like that. Shadow underneath mm -hmm. him. Underneath him, especially over to the side because the light, if the light's coming from here, then his shadow would come this way. 
So over here. Yep, that's perfect. We can also, In if we want to make. I thought it was a puddle of water. Oh. <laughs> We can also add a little shadow on, on his spikes, too, if you want, but you don't have to. Little head. <laughs> That's nice. Okay, so now we're going to make our lantern. And um, you can take the, um, the light tan color right here. Sometimes when, it, when a little tea light is lit, um, the top of it is really glowing, and then um, the wax, you see the light through the wax, and it looks kind of brownish. So... Um, so watch me first real quick. I'm going to draw just a little square right here. And I drew it a little bit up from the bottom of the lantern. And then you can fill it in with the tan. If you want, you can take your shadow color that you just used and do a little bit at the bottom right there too. You don't have to. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, and then we're going to do the little flame of our of our candle. So leave like a finger space between the top of your candle and the flame. And I'm just going to draw a little, it looks like a little pumpkin seed shape. And then in the middle of it, I'm going to do a darker. Dark dot. Mm -hmm. And then you can take your yellow and color that in. And then we, you can do a couple like light lines, like the, the light is shining from it. And you can add some yellow up here. Like it's lighting up. And I'm gonna do a little bit like it's shining outside the lantern. Shining. Yeah. Okay, so now you can take your black and the wick of the candle is going to be a little bit, um, we're going to do like a little squiggly right here and then a thin line that goes down. Squiggly. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, you can connect them if you want, but you don't have to. It can just look like it's really light. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, so we want our lantern to look like it's made of glass. So you can take your, oh, I like that. You can take your darker blue, and first we're going to trace the outside of it, like this. Just kind of clean up the line that you already have there. And I'm curving my corners a little bit, so it looks like it's made it a glass jar. And then we're going to add a little bit extra right here, like it's the top of the jar. I'm going to do some lines. And then we want it to look like glass so it's clear. So I'm going to do another really, really thin line very close to it, but not exactly on top of it like that. Does that make sense? So then it looks like it's a glass, like a mason jar lantern. That looks beautiful, Lucy. Okay, and then I want my jar to look like it's a little bit 3D, so I'm adding a little curve like that. I went up to the candle and then stopped, so it's like it's going behind the candle and then to the side. Oh, it's really nice. Okay, and then we can put, you don't have to do this part, but um, in the book they have a little handle on their lanterns. So I have the brown, or the black crayon, and I'm just going to do a little squiggle line there. I think I want to make my lantern a little more glowy, so I'm going to add a little more yellow on. That's really cute, Lucy. Okay, and then um, we're, the idea was that we would make these as a gift that you could give to someone. So who um, lights up your world with kindness? My friends and family. Oh, can you think of one person that you could want to give this to? Luca. Luca? Okay. So why don't you write um, a little message to her? I'm going to write, um, I'll, I'm going to write, Mom, you light up my world with kindness. But you can write it, whatever you want.
And then we're going to sign it in the bottom. And I'm going to have you sign it in a pencil um, instead of a crayon or the Sharpie because it just makes it look a little bit neater. So in the very bottom you can sign your name right there. Oh, that's fancy, Lucy. <laughs> your brother's crazy. Should I put the leaves in there? That's perfect. Okay, do you want to say bye to your class? Bye. We hope you liked it.